Some new details this afternoon regarding the PWSA and lead lines. On display today is a new and what is considered less disruptive technique for replacing old lines. Christine D'Antonio has the story. You can see the trenches that have been dug here along Phillips Avenue in Squirrel Hill. This is all in an effort by PWSA to replace those lead service lines with copper ones. It's important for the health of the community. David Kovacek is the superintendent of this lead service line replacement program. Pittsburgh Water and Sewer Authority says it's a costly and extensive task, having to replace 2,100 lines just this year, a number that the state mandates. We will replace the public side of the line, which goes from the curb stop out into the street, connect with the main, and this year we're replacing the private side all the way into the house. The reason to figure out what works best and costs the least, this is called the pool method, which is innovative and less disruptive. Through that lead line and then run a cable, pull the cable through with the string line. It's all lead line. It's the old lead line. We're pulling right now. This morning, things went smoothly. This method is desired simply because we don't have to excavate the yard. We wouldn't have to take out that tree. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have to actually excavate in under the porch. It won't always be this easy, but crews will become acclimated with conditions in several different neighborhoods across the city before tackling all 15,000 lines that need to be replaced over the next few years. Now, the total cost of this project is quite costly. It's around $40 million, but it's necessary, according to officials. Customers will be footing the bill for this one. In Squirrel Hill, I'm Christine D'Antonio, KDKA TV News.